OK， 啊你好，嗱先講廣東話先啦，又到 Figure Talk 今日第八集啦，唔經唔覺咧做咗八集，咁啊唔經唔覺咧都開始咗，即係九月初開始做第一集嘅，咁就而家第八集啦。咁我我哋即係我會集中講 Figure， 一比六有陣時，咁就因為自己嘅少少專長啦，都做咗儲啊儲咗成卅年嘅嚇，做就做咗成誒，都真係十幾廿年。咁初頭咧賣多啦，後尾後尾就真係做生產設計都做十十十幾年啦。咁雖然啊做得耐唔代表我真係好好啊，咁但係即係都叫做喺行業裏面啦，咁所以都繼續即係幫手啦，即係希望幫到手去推廣啦。咁今晚咧講呢個咧就係 Three A 嘅 Batman b a t m a n s t i l l Age 嘅 Batman， 應該係一個 DC Comics 入面嘅漫畫，加上 H D Wood 嘅重新設計嘅一個 Batman 啊。咁啊，當然啦，永遠都係㗎啦。我啲料咧就唔係好準成嘅，即係是關呢啲背景啊，即係個題材，譬如套戲啊。誒誒誒嗰個嗰啲嗰啲嗰啲漫畫啊嗰啲咧，通常我唔係好準㗎，大家希望原諒我。咁但係比較熟嘅咧就係技術性嘅嘢。咁當然啦，好多行內嘅前輩或者行內專人士啦，可能都比較更清楚。不過我就用半桶水或者大半桶水同大家介紹俾啲即係廣大嘅即係收藏家聽啦。等佢多啲即知識，即係呢方面知識，其實會玩得開心啲。你覺得即係你個錢放咗邊度咧？原來哦，原來放咗好多模具裏面。啊，講到模具咧，啱啱咧。呃、最近啦，呢幾日睇喺流邊啦 ，Toys TV 嚇，咁有一條就係 Mark 四廿四啦 ，Hulkbuster 啦，另外一條就係 Mark 四廿七啦。咁其實 Mark 四廿四條片咧就真係非常多，大家好多人睇啦。咁啊，小弟都係純粹喺嗰度咧就幫下手咁啊，因為有阿有阿有阿的喺度啦，有阿子龍喺度啦，子龍就好專業咁用一個好專業嘅司儀嘅方式去做啦。我都覺得係非常之專業到好似即係賣廣告咁。咁另外唔好介意阿子龍嚇。咁另外咧就係、是嗯阿的啦，就我哋之前咧，其實我哋即係睇曬説明書咁做，咁成日其實就、呃、真係誒、呃、一集就比較用心機拍同埋幾難拍嘅，咁但係原來都好多人睇喎，咁所以咧就我哋都會繼續做翻呢樣嘢啦，即、就、係、是、我哋有有有有產品知識，又都有我哋自己主持嘅個人意見或者啲背景嘅專業嘅或者冇專業啦，背景我哋我哋認為我哋專長嘅意見可以俾下啦嚇，咁、啊、所以咧就。繼續收睇 Toys TV 啦，咁講到冇句係啦，好多冇句嗰套 Put Bus 蛋啊，其實真係都係暗暗沉講一句啦，就值回票價嘅，即係如果你行難睇到咧，以呢個價錢咧，我講係遠價，咁咧就非常抵嘅。咁啊講翻正題啦，咁啊第八集 Fit Talk 咧，我哋就係講 Three A 呢個 Steel Age S Three Wood 嘅嘅 Batman 啊。嗱呢個 Batman 咧有兩個 version 嘅，呢、這、一個咧我做呢個係叫 Day Edition 日版。咁其實有個 light edition 嘅，咁個 light edition 咧可以影影啊，攝影師個個仔呢度少少啊，唔好影太前啦。OK， 嗱呢個就 light edition 比較全黑啲嘅。咁其實我都係抽樣咁解咧就出嚟啦。咁啊解咗隻 day edition， 諗住會特別啲。咁其實我色係特別啲嘅，咁但係當然有啲人中意可能 light edition 即係深色或者黑色係靚啲。咁嗱誒，事不宜遲啦，咁啊講翻正題啦。咁我又都係用少少英文或者。部分英文，因為始終係呢啲題材咧，就 I think more more audience and more collectors tend to buy free A stuff. I think the customers outside Hong Kong or China is more more than the one in in local market. So I think I I I I must use some English to to present this. But this is not already a very new release product, but still new. You know, maybe release more than one month. But actually, I think I need to because they seldom uh review, especially Fido reviews. So I decide to do this, and uh, this figure, you know, uh, is designed by Ashley Wood, but based on the concept of DC Comics Batman, and you will see, uh, it's very, you know, very obvious and typical design, in my point of view of Ashley. But I have to talk about not because of the design. You know, design is a very conceptual stuff, and and everybody have his own decision, own own judgment, and own variation. So I don't spend time on this. Where you just wondering? I'm just talk about some technical or, or, or you know something about products or, or uh, I mean the details, quality and how to in the technical level. Okay, this time I want to do it from the bottom. The, why? Because because the boot, you know, please yeah show the boots. This boot, you know, you can see it's a real fabric. You can see the the string, you know, a real string and real fabric. 3A really did a very difficult task to make this boot happen. You know, a real fabric boot is always difficult to make, and especially this one, it's a long leg, long boot. 
is a very long one. So you could see, I suggest not to remove this boot from the figures if you got this one, because it will be very difficult for you to move it back to the leg. You know, you have to loosen all the stitches, I mean the strings, and then to do it one by one. So um, I suggest not to do that if you don't want to spend time. But if you want to see what happened inside, what is inside, yeah, you can do it. Yeah, I think this can be removed. Certainly, there will be no a real fit in, inside the boots. You know, I, I can feel that this should be a, you know, kind of boots with the necks, not boot necks. Yeah? Boot necks is another meaning. So, uh, so when we oh, oh, when we loosen all the strings here, and we could unplug the packs here. So we we move the boots, yeah. But I don't try to do this here. Otherwise, this video will be lost last long longer than twenty minutes. And you could see, and you could hear the sound, click sounds. So it could make the make the figures more stable when when making different positions. Okay, and this is you know like a leather or pleather. A pleated pants or trousers, you know, it's not it's not plastic. I mean, not a injection plastic. So there is just like you know, a fabric covering covering it, and the the material seems very elastic. You can see, very elastic. So I think it's good. You know, pleader has a different has many different kind of pleaders, and some pleaders really last for a longer time. Some pleader doesn't. So it, it really depends on the material, the factory or the brand chosen. So, so uh, for, as a customer, we, we cannot decide. So, so sometimes by luck, yeah, some of them may be, may be deteriorate in a shorter time. Some can long last for more than three years. As, as, I, as, far, as, as far as I know, I have some pre the collection more than six years, seven years, no problem. But uh, many people don't know why. Even I'm doing the production, I can just say maybe the pre the has do some uh, tests before by you know some uh, 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 infra, infra, infrared or no, no not infrared in, uh, infrared net light uh, to do a process and uh, maybe maybe the pleader is elastic enough you know you know what is the pleader made of the pleader is made of like a like a fabric net and all the plastic materials go on the net so if the material is a bit thicker uh, it would be stronger but the elasticity will be lower if the material on the latch is thinner it's elastic but at the same time you know it could be you know just like broken down broken broken up but at but but when the material is new i think it doesn't really matter you know some of the figures you know have a have a whole pre costume and it takes a lot of time and effort for the labor in the factory to dress it up so uh, the elasticity should be high so it really depends on the leather Prida. I think uh, at the medium medium size or medium thickness it would be helpful uh, it would be long lasting or, or better but there's still no guarantee but I know some some people or some professional in the fabric industry or, or they know about material like plastic they, they can do a lot of you know uh, 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 pre pre production tests and they, they should know what what kind of material is the best. So I I think in short future, all the pre done materials should be long lasting, and the factory ca can choose the best one and then make it done. So don't afraid. This this is not a you know a rules that a principle that the all the pre done should be detailed one times, one days. Uh, it will happen, but you know, if you collect a figures, why why don't we need it to last for 100 years, even longer than our lives. So this which is only for fun or fun, for collection. So I don't spend time on, 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 on the, you know, you know my, on my own idea or my own argument, but just go for the products again. Yeah, hope, hope you like this part uh, because I am trying to explain the Prida material. So Prida is look like a leather. Sometimes even the skin texture is made. Only how to, how to distinguish Prida or leather. Let me show you one very simple thing. If you smell it, yeah, there is no leather smell. This is Prida. P, I, in my point of view, stand for plastic. If this is real leather, you can smell the real leather smell. But unfortunately, I can smell some leather smell with this figure. So I cannot tell you if it's a Prida or leather. Anyway, 
it is good but i think if this is a real leather costume the cost should be higher four times or five times higher only the fabric cost not including the sewing cost or you know you know you know if it is a real leather uh the, for any production there could be some damage you know so the factory or the company still need to account for those damage so if it is real leather the cost should be three or four times higher i'm sure so if, if one company using real leather you will be happy just like you know did they are using real leather boot this is very good news for all the collectors and players because this could be last for longer longer long time than more more more, more of the pleated boots okay so when we see the pouch i'm going to the pouch okay wow lots of pouch here a lot of pouch yeah is made of fabrics and again a lot of worn effect so it is very looks like very really dirty but not not really dirty and this you know buckle is really cool um this is made of plastic you know how to distinguish plastic and metal you know the surface temperature of the, the metal if you can feel by a finger or your face it is lower so if you when you touch the parts if it's metal it you will feel a little bit cold cool or cool than plastic parts so for this i can tell you it's plastic also with the touch and and and, and the, with my fingers i can feel this is plastic but anyway plastic and metal is no difference just for the details and 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 the functions so i think it, this is still a very cool pass and on the other side okay only one one buckle so maybe i think the belt should hold like that you know so hold like that i guess i guess i'm not sure the original de design is and we're going to other parts for the you know the arms yeah the fingers is you know articulate fingers every each of the fingers is articulated so you can do any kind of gesture and the articulation of the fingers seems very tight so it's good if it's too loose you can play only for a short while and then all the weapons and accessories drop on the floor and you can see this this is plastic but looks really a metal and for the croc or cap you know a lot of skillful one effect you know one effect is not very difficult to make but if for production if this is you know nothing on my finger yeah so it's good it's good weathering otherwise if all the paints can be dropped easily it's no good for you right you have to do it again yourself but this one seems you know 3a and Friso is famous of their battle one effect weathering effect so they already spray some uh, transparent paint on it and make the all the painting safely attached to the material you know sometimes the the paint and material will mix up it so they have to test before they make the production so i think they free a deal do a very good job on this and but you know for myself the crock is a pretty light material and it's really thick thicker than thicker than the inside costume i don't know why if i if i am the designer i would choose a thinner fabrics to make it more you know but maybe they have some design and and maybe they have some purpose like i guess i guess the basic concept of the design is the batman standing very cruel with all the cloth covering him so i think this is a basic design concept so that's why they use a thicker crock but if you can use a thinner crock it won't it allow more articulation you know right now yeah it's still it's still okay but you know a little bit thick yeah i have no complaint on this but but you know if you want to make more gesture different position it would be we should do something some something more okay so i have no complaint with the one effect but only the thickness of the cloak and and the best thing i could do i i can i can think is the design of this armor you know the shoulder the back and the chest armor 
this, this, this design really look, you know, Ashley style, not Gangnam style, it's Ashley style. You can see this is Ashley design, you know, I don't know what to explain, but I know if when I see that, yeah, this is Ashley, by Ashley. Yeah, this is, you know, not a typical design of Batman concept, you know, because one point of my, one of my view is, I actually usually mix different concepts, the science concept into one product or into one image. Yeah, that is his designs. And that is his strengthness to mix different concepts or different value or different cultures. So it looks like, you know, like a romance or looks like a samurai, I don't know. But mixed with this Batman. Oh, it's funny, I found one thing. We've got a button here. Yeah, so I think there is probably a light in his eye. But right now I don't have time to insert because I forgot to insert the batteries. Yeah, but you can see there's a button for open and off for the light. So I think this is the another focal point of this product. And I think if you if this stand in the dark light, I mean a dark environment or you know, with, with all the lights off and standing and with the eyes opened. I mean the light on should be a very cool this display. Okay. So for this one I think really this the concept is the first position. It's not the articulations or how many accessory is including, it's the concepts and the and the material they are using. So this continue with the armor. So the short shoulder armors can be, you know, okay, whoa whoa whoa. Yeah, do like that. Okay, so it's cool. So actually the hand can be going up more up. You know? So yeah, it's no problem for different position. And the click hang sound means there is some, you know, some position they can fix. Okay. And personally I like this part most. It's very cool. And you can see, you know, I think some bad to one effect on his face. I'm not sure if this man is like a robot, but you know, the the design recall me this is like a robot Batman. Yeah, in my point in my own point of view. So forgive me if I'm wrong, okay? All the Ashley fans and all the Fear fans, forgive me. Yeah, I'm just talking about my opinion only. Yeah, but this is really cool. You see? Yeah, for a design, it is a very good design, for, in my point of view. So, I'm going to make a you know, very typical gesture of him. So, okay, just to remind, there is another version. This is night version. It's mainly black color or dark gray color. I think again with the shoulder armors and chest armor is you know looks more like a real metal. So I think it should be another feeling or it should be another perceptual feelings when you look at different version of this version or light version. Sorry my English is still really bad uh, but I'm trying to um, make more the English speaking audience they understand what is this video about? So I try to speak all the English all the time. So forgive me if my English is not pronounced correctly. My accents is very difficult to listen. Or for any terms I'm using wrong, forgive me. I'm just trying to show what I feel and what I think about this product. For myself, the concept, the design, the material is wonderful. You know, but if you are praying kind of like license figures like you know I, I don't mention the name you know you know that uh, uh, the license figures you know superheroes thing this may not be your cup of tea but for some you know designers toys lovers this is very cool one to six scale figures in my point of view so this is the end of this episode and sorry I didn't use any Cantonese during the whole introduction of this figure because I know that many of the Ashley Wood fans and many of the fans of 3A is angry speaking sorry i'm just trying to yeah you can you can say i'm trying to please you but yeah what how come i do the videos i want more people to watch and i want more people can understand what i'm doing yeah so this is steel age 3a batman day version okay thanks for watching 
Faker Talk. I'm Brian Lowe. See you next time and please remember to like my page or introduce your friend. Please share it if you like it. Thank you. See you. Bye bye.